Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Since my video yesterday about the whole weigh-in thing and doing all the fitness videos, I decided to kind of kickstart this fitness series with uh, what's in my gym bag video. I just wanted to share some of the gear that I bring with me every day to the gym in order for me to reach my goals. I personally like kind of these, these videos where people share what they use on a daily, whether it be gym bag or you know, photography gear, I like to see what people use in order for them to reach their goal and help them do what they do. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Everything that I'm going to mention in this video, I'm going to have links down in the description in case you guys are interested. It'll help the channel out and uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, the first thing I wanted to share is probably the most important accessory that I bring with me to the gym and those are headphones. Now these are the Beats by Dre. These are the Power Beats um three wireless i like these a lot they you know they i like these ear hooks they fit over your ears just like that they provide good uh, isolation uh you know but i like the hooks because they stay secure in your ear and whatever kind of movements you're doing uh i've never had them fall off on me so these are really good and i'm a really sweaty dude like i sweat for like no reason whatsoever like doing the most normal activities i will still sweat so at the gym i sweat like crazy and with all the sweat that I produce these have never broke on me or like you know these are I think sweat resistant which which is nice so you know I'm glad to see that Beats actually promises on that because after all the sweat I've put these through they have not failed me so uh, probably the most important things that I bring to the gym headphones all right next we have the 12 south action sleeve now i have this because i used to wear my apple watch while i worked out at the gym but the problem i had with wearing the apple watch on my wrist was uh when i lifted weights um you know the, the apple watch would get kind of in the way when my wrist bending like if i'm doing let's say bench press it'll be kind of digging into my arm which was kind of annoying but i wanted to wear the watch to use the activity app to do all the workout app to keep track of my calories i got this which kind of solves the problem you put the apple watch in here and then you wear it on your arm or on your forearm and it does have an opening on the back so the uh, heart rate monitor can still read your heart rate now this is pretty common i'm, I'm assuming with with a lot with a lot of people who work out this is the wahoo X, ticker X, I believe it's called. It's a heart rate monitor. It comes with this uh, strap. Basically, you just snap it on like so, and you wear it around your chest, and it reads your heart rate. Wahoo does offer a few apps that you can download on iOS and I believe Android, but I actually don't use them. I actually just use this tracker, this heart rate monitor, to just pair up my Apple Watch directly. So I have a more accurate heart rate reading when using the workout app. All right, next up is actually something that I can't live without after buying it. It's a Hydro Flask. Uh, if you've never heard of Hydro Flask before, it's a double insulated water bottle where it keeps your cold drinks cold and your hot drinks hot. I believe they claim 24 hours for cold drinks and 12 hours for hot drinks. And I can attest to that. I have like three of these. I have one for the gym. I have one here for around the house and like going out and I have one at work. The one at work I have, I had ice in there when I left at five o'clock one day, came back the next morning and the ice was still in there. So I have this straw lid adapter. It doesn't come with this. I bought this separately. It, uh, when you buy a hydro flask, it just comes with the regular screw top. This one, I just got the flip top straw lid because it's annoying to having to screw off a cap and then drink out of it while you're working out. It's just easier to flip this up and drink. Yeah, these things are pretty durable. I have dropped it a few times. There you can see the dent, but uh, it works just like normal. It doesn't sweat, which is nice. And yeah, it's really a good thing to have. All right, this is also nothing special. It's just a blender bottle. Um, I have like maybe f four or five, six of these, all different colors. I'm gonna just keep my protein shaking here. I have my protein for tomorrow actually already in here. It's like the sport version. It has like a grip up here. It's a little bit slimmer and taller. It has a nice like handle here, but uh, yeah blender bottle next is uh stuff that i keep in this little bag this bag is just a nike drawstring bag my actual gym bag i keep in my locker but this is actually um something that i actually take with me to like the to the actual gym like you know where the machines are and everything i have to keep all my stuff in here i have another pair of headphones these are the beats solo wireless three sometimes i use these when i really want to get like when I really want to dive into my music. The Power Beats 3 wireless are great. They don't isolate sound that well, but they do a pretty good job. But these, you know, when you wear them and they clamp down to your ears, they'll get rid of a lot of sound. And the, the range and connectivity on this is amazing. I can walk across like the entire gym without having them 
disconnect, which is nice. And they just provide good sound, and I like the uh, like the rubber the rubber headband they have here. So even when I sweat, it doesn't really get uh, that disgusting. All right, next I have these barbell clamps. Um, they just keep the weight on the actual barbell. My gym does offer like the spring-loaded barbell clamps, but sometimes they're missing and you can't find any, and it's really annoying to do a squat or a deadlift without clamps on because you feel the weight moving. So I bought these by Clout Fitness. They're pretty cheap, if I remember correctly, and I like them because they're really quick to clip on and clip off, and you just slide them right off. They come with two, handy thing to have. This little guy is called a dead wedge. Now what this is basically, it's something you put on the floor and you roll the weight onto this. So it's easier to take the plates on and off. Now, if you deadlift, you know how troublesome it is sometimes to take weight on and off. The barbell, since it lays on the ground, there's no elevation where you can actually, you know, take the plates on and off. So this gives you a little bit of elevation off the ground. So when you roll the plates over, sits on top of this and then you just slide the plates right off and uh, makes you, it just makes it easier to change weight, add weight, but it's a great little thing to have. These guys are called gangster wraps. Now they're just standard wrist wrap. They're pretty long. I believe they're like 36 inches or something like that. They're stretchable. They're really sturdy too. They give great support for your wrists. I have bad wrists ever since I was uh, a kid. So uh, these come in handy a lot. I use them for overhead press, bench. See, they have Velcro here at the end. Um, and they have these thumb loops over here. Now interesting about these, you can either wear them on your thumb like this, and then this is how I usually wear them, around my thumb, and I grab it on here, and I wrap around my wrist, just like so. And you kind of have an idea like that. Um, you can wear it like that, or you can actually, where you loop it within the thumb strap, like that. So you just put your wrist in here, tighten it up, and then you wrap. So you can wear it in a few different ways. Great wrist support for those of you who need it. I believe they're from Slingshot, I'm not mistaken, but they're definitely made by Mark Bell, the same company that makes like the Slingshot stuff, but these are just called uh, Gangster Wraps. All right, while we're on the topic of wrist straps, I have these, these are the Versa Grips. Basically what these are, they're kind of like wrist straps, but they kind of take it to the next level. As you can see this like leather piece here, very thick, high quality and there's a little bit of sturdiness up here. It's basically a rest on your palms, so you can use it uh, for, you know, hand protection. I used to wear weightlifting gloves, but they got too cumbersome, and uh, I feel like I didn't get a good grip on the bar when I used them, so I found these. Uh, I found these on YouTube, a bunch of uh, weightlifters use them, and they're great, let me tell you. So basically, you just, you wear them on your wrist like this, strap them up, and then it, this piece right here sticks in your hand, like that. And you can either put the bar here and grip it this way, so you have protection here. So this is like a push method, so when you're doing like, you can do these for bench press, let's say. Or you can also put the bar here in the middle and then wrap it like so, like that. So you have more of like a grip. I use these mainly for deadlifts. Um, I just like the extra protection and grip that these give me. I wear it like this around the bar for deadlifts. I use it for deadlifts and barbell row. I use these grips for that. They're just great to put around the bar and help protect your hand. And in this drawstring bag, I just keep a pair of Nike slides in here for the sauna. All right, next I just wanna go over some shoes real quick for my non-lifting days when I just do cardio for the most part. I used to wear just like regular fly nets or like fly net racers, but I feel like those didn't really give me support. So what I ended up getting were these. These are the Nike Metcon 3s, I believe. These are the fly net versions. I think they're called like Nike Metcon DSX fly net 3 or something like that. These are really comfortable. They give great support. They have that gum outsole. Look at that. You can use these for weightlifting. A lot of people use them for weightlifting. They definitely, you definitely can. I just choose 
to use these for strictly cardio and battle rope or you know you push that sled thing with the weight on it around these are just great for that now for weightlifting what i do use are these these are the nike romaleo threes uh i had the romaleo twos in the past i was a big fan of those romaleo twos were great my only complaint were that my feet got extremely sweaty when using them because i had like barely any ventilation these nike romaleo threes they get they get a lot of bad reviews online for some reason but i personally love them what i do like about it is that they're lighter so the previous romaleo twos they had like these double straps they had like metal clamps and all that and like just the material the upper was a lot thicker which then goes back to the reason why my feet sweated so much uh these go for a much lighter and thinner upper and if you look here there's a lot these stripes right here these are all ventilation holes which helps so much when it comes to sweaty feet and they actually have even more ventilation holes here on the side uh it comes with this one strap which is nice instead of the dual strap like the Romaleos 2s had they feel the same I mean this the sole is pretty much the same it's like a plastic sole I think they're a great improvement from the Romaleo 2s these are my knee sleeves these are by a brand called uh, Reband or Rayband I think called Reband you can see your reband these are great sleeves i'm an xl i have big thighs i'm surprised the xls actually fit me but these are great sleeves i use them for squatting after i squat i take them off but they are great they keep your they keep my knees warm they offer great support but i chose to go with the ray band just because they're not as tight i saw a couple of reviews of the slingshots and the sbds and they look really tight and i have big thighs so was just, i was afraid i was not going to fit in them so i went with these ray, uh, ray bands they fit great if you squat and you don't have knee sleeves i highly highly recommend getting these sleeves they'll change your squat game forever all right this guy doesn't really go in my gym bag but i bring it with me uh pretty much every day to the gym it's a weightlifting belt made by a company called steel sweat I'm actually never heard of them, but I searched on Amazon and I found this brand. It's really great. It's made out of like the suede material, which is nice. They even have some branding here in the back. It is a buckle weightlifting belt. I really want a lever belt, but they, uh, the one that I wanted, the Inzer belt, is really expensive. And uh, I didn't want to buy a belt and then potentially lose a lot of weight around my stomach area and then my and then the belt wouldn't fit anymore so this costed i think around like 50 bucks or so on amazon like i said all the stuff in this video has links down below this really helps out my squat game i actually never really had understood the point of weightlifting belts until one of my friends told me to just get one and i did and during my heavy squats i put this on and it helps so much it, it really engages your core and you get to push up against the belt with your core and it helps me move the weight a lot faster so look into getting a weightlifting belt if you haven't already it'll really change your weightlifting and it'll really help you during those heavier sets okay last and definitely not least is the actual gym bag itself this is the king kong duffel gym bag um they come in uh i think a bigger size but this is like the, the normal size they come in like four different sizes like small medium large I think this is like the regular original they call it the original king kong this bag holds all my gear that i showed you in this video and more it has two water bottle holders here on the side pocket here this is where i keep all like my dirty clothes there's also some more storage options down there there's a zipper side here you have a large uh opening for all your stuff all your gear all your clothes uh this is like the shoe compartments i'll get into that in a little bit just a lot of space here in the front here you have some pockets these this is like a zipper pocket right here this is where i keep like my headphones and stuff this is a velcro pocket I keep like my little accessories there and here is a, another velcro pocket i keep my bcaa's or different kind of like vitamins or pills in there and then here on the side another reason why i love this bag it has two shoe compartments a lot of gym bags out there usually have one shoe compartment but i come from work so sometimes i have dress shoes on or you know different kind of shoes or like especially during the winter i have like boots on so i keep my romaleos down here on my metcons and then up here in this upper zipper i usually keep like another pair of sneakers to change into after work so yeah another great feature and that's about it it comes with a shoulder strap here the king kong branding and then it also comes with a magnetic strap holder uh, all in all it's a great bag it holds a ton i thought it'd be a little bit too small for all the all the stuff i wanted to carry but 
it holds a lot. That should really wrap it up. That's pretty much everything that I carry with me to the gym every day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, hit that like button. Also, if you like this video and you wanna follow me along, go ahead and subscribe as well. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the time and see you guys in the next one.